Welcome to Deep Listening, a mindful skills course. In this course, you'll learn how to unlock your deep listening superpower. Yes, I said superpower. Are you ready to get started? I know what you're thinking. I already know how to listen. I mean, come on, I'm listening to this course, aren't I? Well, yes, you're right. We know how to listen, but do we really hear what's being said? Think about this. Have you ever been listening to someone talk and then the thought of ice cream pops into your head? Oh yeah, I said it, ice cream. You're thinking I could really go for some ice cream right now. And then as you look down, you notice your shoe and you wonder, what would shoe flavored ice cream taste like? Wait, shoe flavored ice cream? Clearly your mind has wandered off and you're not paying any attention. You look back at the person and you really hope there's not gonna be a test because you have no idea what they were just saying. You may have been listening, you heard the words coming out of their mouth, but you weren't paying attention to what they were saying, so you don't really know the point they were trying to get across. You ended up wasting their time, and you may have missed out on some really important information. Hey, you're not still thinking about shoe-flavored ice cream, are you? Gross! Come on! Let's look at another example. Okay, enough talk about ice cream. Let's try one more example. This time, you're the one talking. You're telling someone all about something really cool and you notice that they're looking at you, maybe smiling, nodding, but you can tell they're totally not listening. You could tell they weren't listening, right? How's that make you feel? Probably not very good. Maybe it made you feel like you weren't very important to them. Now answer this question. Have you ever done this yourself? Have you ever noticed yourself nodding, smiling, but you have no idea what the other person just said? Don't worry, you're not alone. Everyone has done this at some point. Some people do it a lot. The good news is that you can become an expert listener with a little practice. In the next section, we're going to learn about a secret superpower called deep listening. Yes, I called it a superpower again, because it really is. When you start really listening to what people are saying, you can learn faster, understand better. You can also learn to pick up on things they're not saying. Are they telling the truth? Are they trying to persuade you? Or are they trying to entertain you? All sorts of stuff. Also, by listening deeply to what people are saying, you can actually change the way they see you and how they interact with you, all by doing nothing more than listening. Ready to learn how? Go to the next section already. Welcome back. In this section, we're going to learn about a technique I like to call here. Yep, here. H-E-A-R. And yes, you guessed it, that's an acronym we're going to use to help us remember the four steps or four levels it takes to unlock this superpower. Let's get started. As I said, we're going to use the acronym H-E-A-R, or HEAR, to help us remember the four levels of activating deep listening. The key to deep listening is to ensure that you are really paying attention to the person talking to you. You're listening to me, right? Good, just checking. That means stopping whatever you're doing and focusing your attention on what's being said. To help us remember, we'll use the letter H, or the word HALT. The first thing you want to do is HALT, or stop what you're doing, and offer the person speaking your full attention. This tells them that you're ready to hear what they have to say. The next step is to prepare yourself to listen. For this, we'll use the letter E, or ENJOY. We say enjoy because while you may not enjoy what the person has to say, you can definitely enjoy taking a break from whatever you were doing, taking a deep breath, and making the decision to listen. This is really important because it helps you clear your mind and prepare you for what's about to be said. So first we halt, then we enjoy a deep breath and focus our intention on the person speaking. Next we'll use the letter A, or ask. In this step, we're going to ask questions, not just to the person, but also to ourselves. Yes, I'm actually telling you to talk to yourself. Just do it quietly. Ask yourself if you really understand what they are saying or what they mean. If you don't, don't be afraid to ask the person for clarification. It's better to ask them now for more information than to sit through the whole conversation and then find out you were completely wrong about what they were trying to tell you. So for this step, we use the letter A for ask, to remind us to ask questions both to ourselves and to the speaker. 
Finally, we'll use the letter R for reflect. In the final step, what we want to do is reflect back to the speaker some of the key points that they were talking about. This helps you validate to them that you heard what they were saying and understood it. It also gives them an opportunity to clarify if something you said isn't what they meant. So H-E-A-R. Now, I know that's a lot to think about, so let's take a look at a quick example of how we could use this in real life. Imagine you're sitting at the table working on the computer when a friend comes over to talk to you. You notice that they want to talk, but you're kind of busy. Even though you may not want to talk right now, the polite thing to do, of course, is to listen. See, no matter how much we'd like to think we do, we never know what we're going to hear. So it's important that we always make it a point to really listen. To do this, we're going to use our deep listening superpower, and to do that, we need to hear. That's right, H-E-A-R, here. Starting with H, we do what? You said halt, right? Of course you did. That's right, the first thing we want to do is halt whatever we're doing and focus our attention on the person that wants to talk to us. Now that we've done that, we need to activate level two. That would be E for enjoying a deep breath, clearing our mind and deciding to listen. I know what you're thinking, maybe the person has bad breath and you might not really enjoy taking a deep breath right now. Don't worry, the point here is that you take a moment to prepare to listen and make the decision that you're going to pay attention to what they have to say. You could think of it as enjoying a quick moment of silence before you decide to start listening. So that's level two. You know what time it is now. It's listening time. Now that we're listening to what they have to say, and we're paying attention to make sure our mind isn't wandering, we want to go to level three. That's A for ask questions. First, ask yourself, quietly of course, do I really understand what they're saying? If the answer is no, don't worry. Just ask them for a clarification. An easy way to do this is to just say, hang on, my brain's a little slow today, can you repeat that? Or tell me a little more about that. It's important to ask questions if you don't understand, and you should never ever feel intimidated or embarrassed by asking questions. Asking questions tells the speaker that you actually are paying attention and trying to understand. This is a very good thing. Now we've come to the end of the conversation and we've been listening. Oh yeah, we have. So it's time we turn our deep listening up to level four. That's right, maximum power. Level four is R for reflect or repeat. At this point, what we want to do is reflect back a little of what they said and maybe highlight some of the things that you thought were most interesting or important. You don't want to try and repeat everything they just said, but just relate back a little bit to help them see that you were paying attention and you understand what they were talking about. So you're saying we should do this because, or you could say, uh, okay, that makes sense. I really liked this point. This tells the speaker that you actually heard what they had to say, and this can be very powerful. You can actually change the way that person sees you and interacts with you in the future just by listening to them. So now that we know how to activate this superpower, let's talk about what it can do for us. Deep listening can help us do a lot of things. It can help us understand new or difficult topics by being able to more closely follow what the teacher, instructor, coach, or other person is saying we can learn what they're teaching us faster. Another advantage is that it can actually help you make friends. People like to talk, but more than that, people like it when you listen. If you're a good listener, people are more likely to confide their deepest, darkest secrets. Whoa, I mean, uh, got a little off track. Maybe not that, but they are more likely to want to talk to you and to spend time with you in the future. In addition to learning faster and remembering information better, Deep listening can help you pick up on information not so true, or maybe something they said that they didn't mean to say. A lot of times you can tell if someone is making up what they're saying just by paying attention to the details. I'm not saying you're going to be a human lie detector by doing this, but you'll certainly be able to make much better judgments about the information you pick up. Being a good listener will encourage others to open up to you. Not only will they be more likely to share with you in the future, but they'll be more likely to help you out and share more details as well. We all want people that we can count on when we need them. Deep listening can help with this. By signaling to others 
that you're someone who will take the time to listen and values what they have to say, you make it much more likely they'll do the same for you. Deep listening is a superpower, but more than that, it's a skill that you need to practice. When you're first starting out, it's going to be hard. You're going to find your mind wandering or forgetting to follow the steps, and that's okay. Don't worry about it. When you notice your attention has wandered, just gently bring it back to paying attention and then activate level three. You remember level three, right? Ask. That's right. The one where you get to talk to yourself? Ask yourself, do I still understand what they're saying? If not, no big deal. Just ask them to repeat or clarify what you don't understand. Every time you practice, try and go a little deeper or pay a little closer attention. In the beginning, you may just be happy to remember the steps, but as you practice, you'll find it a little easier and a little easier, and then the next thing you know, you'll be able to do it without even thinking. Well, you did it. You made it to the end of this class. Now, I've got one more task for you. Let's take a short quiz just to see what you remember. We covered a lot of information, so don't feel bad if you don't pass. You could take the test as many times as you need to. Thank you again, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.